In this video, we're talking about how to build a productivity system. And the first question to start with is productivity. Is my complete my productivity, productivity system split in power is down to more intensely and we a different the number of society and the world's most popular productivity techniques in order of how Man, there's just so much productivity advice out there. I don't know which system to pick. What's this? A simple checklist system? Well, let's give it a shot. As a self-proclaimed productivity nut, I've tried my fair share of productivity systems in the past. From YouTubers to best-selling authors, if it's been said, I've tried it. Notion was a little too daunting for me, Bullet journaling is an aesthetic way to keep track of your life, but the time it took to implement it was too much for me. But the one system I've stuck with throughout the years is, and get ready for it, a simple checklist. Yes, this simple checklist has allowed me to stay on track in life and get the most important tasks done for the day. The way I set up my checklist is through the app Tick Tick. It's a free app and it's simple to use. I open it up and I can add the tasks that I need to get done for the day. I can also flag them based on priority. And once I finish a task, I hit the box and it goes away. And you also get a nice sound to go along with it. Now, I want to go into how I determine what goes into my checklist. It all starts with the question each day when I wake up. I simply ask myself, what are the three most important things I can do today that will get me one step closer to achieving my goals? It's not a groundbreaking question by any means, but it's simply a modification of a term I picked up from Captain Sinbad's channel. In one of his videos, he talked about the benefits of mindstorming, and one of the ways he kicks off his mindstorming session is by asking himself how can he add a thousand dollars each month to his paycheck. By asking yourself these questions, you are reframing your mind and you are only focusing on the most important task for the day and you remove all the filler that accompanies our day. It's very easy for us to fill up our task manager with meaningless tasks and by the end of the day we feel productive but never took the time to focus on the real work that will get us closer to our goals. I was guilty of doing this throughout college. I would fill up my checklist with tons of stuff, such as make breakfast, meet with friends, do laundry, but I never focus on the real work. Another con of making your checklist like that is that it gets overwhelming. All of a sudden, you are now focusing your day on checking off all these things and it just gave me unnecessary anxiety. But by focusing in on the important work, you're getting further ahead than most people. It's a concept that is mentioned in the seven habits of highly effective people, where each task falls into one of four quadrants. The four quadrants are urgent and important, not urgent and important, not important and urgent, not important and not urgent. If we lived in an ideal world, most of our time would be spent in the urgent and important slash non-urgent and important quadrants, but we don't live in an ideal world. If we all took a self audit of our time, most of our time would be spent in the other two quadrants. Now there isn't anything wrong with that, but if we wanna get one step closer to our dreams and living a more fulfilled life, then we need to start focusing our time on the most important tasks. I mentioned the word fulfillment because it's something a lot of us chase, but by focusing our day on the most important work, we can get closer to getting that feeling of fulfillment. And I have to be honest with you, nothing feels better than knowing you're ending your day by getting one step closer towards achieving your goals. If you're struggling to make an impact in your work, try reducing your checklist to the most important items. No matter how big or small the progress is, each time we choose to get up and work is a step towards the right direction. With love and respect, Yush.